Are you exhausted when you're swimming butterfly? I've got two drills that will help you nail your timing and rhythm and ultimately get you down the pool faster. Hey guys, I'm Kaylee. I'm gonna share a couple of my favorite butterfly drills to really nail your rhythm and then how you can incorporate these into your workouts. This video will be primarily focused on timing and rhythm for your butterfly, so make sure you catch the other episodes as we break down the entire butterfly stroke. We're here at the pool today, it's a beautiful day, and we're gonna get in and swim a butterfly workout. Let's go. So two of the biggest problems that beginners have with butterfly is first, it's really hard to get your arms out of the water and your hips kind of sink and you just feel like you're going nowhere. The second is that it's hard to find that rhythm with the breath and the arm stroke so you kind of don't get that forward momentum. So essentially you want everything to be as flat as possible on top of the water. You want your hips to be high and when you're pulling you want to keep your chin low on top of the water. That way your hips won't sink and you won't feel like you're swimming uphill. Butterfly is definitely the most difficult of the four strokes so we recommend that you learn it last and just take it easy. Be kind to yourself when you're learning this because even people that are more seasoned swimmers can have trouble with nailing down perfect technique for butterfly. The first drill that we'll be working on today will be the butterfly flick drill. Essentially in this one, you'll have your arms straight up. You'll be pulling through, breathing early, and then stopping at the finish of the stroke. This will be working on getting a breath early in your stroke. You usually see a lot of swimmers that are breathing at the wrong time and that's when their hips kind of sink and they lose that perfect body position. With this drill, you'll be breathing as soon as you start pulling to kind of realize that, okay, this is where I'm gonna breathe. You're gonna put your head down and then we'll start the drill over. So again, you'll be breathing early, flicking the wrist to the bottom, and then putting your head back down as you bring your arms back to the top under the water to kind of recover to start the drill over. The second drill is interchanging the butterfly stroke and the breaststroke stroke. So you'll take one full breaststroke stroke and then you'll take one full butterfly stroke. Both the strokes have a similar rhythm being short axis strokes and so that doing one stroke of butterfly followed by one stroke of breaststroke back and forth will nail that similar rhythm. All right, we're getting ready to go for a swim. I've got my cap, my goggles, and I've got my Apple Watch with my My Swim Pro workout loaded on the watch so I can just follow along and know which drills I'm doing next. When you do the flick drill, make sure you have a high elbow catch at the top of the stroke. Similar to freestyle, you want to grab the water with not just your hands, but also your forearms, popping the elbows a little bit. Push the water all the way through your hips so you're moving forward with as much force as possible. When you flick the water behind you, your head should go back to being in line with your spine again, the same way you started the drill. You can then reset your arms by bringing them back underwater to the top of the stroke. There's no need to do any arm recovery over the water because this drill is focused on correcting the timing of your breath at the pole rather than just swimming and powering through the full stroke. If your breath timing is off, that's when the pole gets tough. It's hard to bring your arms over the water back to the top if your head is still up to breathe. That's why we're fixing your breath timing from the get-go with this drill. Breaststroke and butterfly are both short axis strokes, which means your power comes from your hips. You kind of end up having a body motion that's like a teeter-totter, pushing with your chest, then your hips. This is the opposite of the long axis strokes, backstroke and freestyle, that use rotational momentum to generate power. The goal of this drill is to get your body to undulate, find a tempo, and get your body position high in the water, especially with your hips. If you're better at breaststroke than butterfly, this drill will help you match up your details a lot better when you combine it with the other short axis stroke. You can practice your breathing with your chin low to the water during this drill too. A pro tip for butterfly is to breathe every other stroke. This can help you keep your hips up and keep you moving forward while still getting the air that you need to swim. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, butterfly timing and rhythm is essential to the core of the stroke. If you can nail this, then you can work on building up your strength and power as you continue to learn the stroke. Thanks again for watching this video. Make sure to tune in with our next episode on the butterfly pole so you can work on nailing down your arms. Catch you there.